Hi everybody. I am playing and having so much fun um, with this string art. So I had to show you, um, really it, it looks wicked cool, but it's super simple. Um, I've got some Stampin' Up! Baker's Twine from a long time ago. Um, I was at a workshop or something where uh, somebody gave away some of these sample colors and I just tend to try to work in multiples. So I hadn't used some of these um, different colored twine, Baker's twine, but they're perfect for what we're gonna get into. So that's probably about twice as much as I need. I'll cut that and then, um, what an interesting assortment of stuff, right? Uh, got some gloves because even though I like getting inky, messy, I have no problems with getting dirty. I don't like it when the ink goes places I don't want it to go. So I'm gonna glove up and um, I tried this with one other color, but I'm gonna put some Marina Mist just right in. You can use a palette, you can use a paper plate. Um, it really doesn't matter, just so you kinda are confining um, the reinker ink. And I'm just gonna coat most of this piece of Baker's twine with reinker. Um, so you can see the possibilities for messy are definitely here. Um, the first time I tried this, the only other time I tried this, I used Lemon Lime Twist, which is uh, fairly bright and light ink. And the first one came off really dark. Now that I'm looking at Marina Mist in here, uh, the first one might be really dark, but I always tell my boys, you gotta go to know. So I've got that prepped. And then um, I couldn't find a phone book. So I have this biology textbook that, you know, I've held on to all these years after my undergrad, but it's time to put it to use. Um, ooh, I don't think anyone's gonna be looking at Shargraf's rules for a minute, so I'm going to use these pages and probably should leave my gloves on just for a minute. Piece of Whisper White paper, I am happy to say Whisper White works really well. You don't need the heavyweight Whisper White. And then I'm gonna just lay the string on here. Um, just making sure that I have a little bit of a tail at the bottom of the book. And this is where I probably do wanna take the gloves off. I've got gloves that are a little bit big so I can slip them off. Um, I'm gonna put them in a different bowl just so I don't make a bigger mess and get another piece of whisper white paper close the book put some pressure pull the string <laughs> let's see what you got so oh is it gonna be good <gasps> how cool is that that's so cool I wasn't sure I um I noticed that the you know the baker's twine had a little bit of memory in it um making it go kind of bend but i like it i really like it so that's two for the price of one just that fast but we don't have to stop there um i'm just gonna be careful not to get the ink anywhere i don't want it maybe put a glove back on just real quick and i'm using the same string already inked up it won't be as saturated and i'm trying try not to get ink where i don't want it huh, we'll see what happens that's kind of what it wanted to do for me so cover that up shut it pull the string <laughs> it was really fun <laughs> let's see what we've got Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. That almost looks like, um, to me, a feather. I love my birds. Um, now on the other one, when I started to lose the saturation there, which I think looks really cool, all I did thinking, I'll make the most of this, right? As I misted the st 
string. I'm trying to try not to get that on the ones I already have done. Well, that's probably enough water. Um, and it looks a little bit different, but it still looks cool. So I'm kind of running out of room here. Looks like these are dry enough. I'll set a couple of these aside. Get a um, couple of new pieces of paper. I've gotten in the habit of pre-cutting um, bases, card card fronts, I should say. I've gotten the habit of pre-cutting card fronts. So when some sort of fun like this can happen, I, um, I don't have to take a time out and cut more paper. I'd love for this to curl around a little more. But with that extra water, I don't want to wait too long before I layer it. And pull the string. This would be so much fun with kids. Yes, there is the potential for mess, but it is amazingly satisfying. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. And I'm going to get at least one more. So that was Marina Mist, and I'm... I'm not one of those people that's totally opposed to change. Good things come with change. Um, but I do love Marina Mist. Um, it's not like a, in my mind, it hasn't been like a superstar color that I go to all the time to be a showstopper, but it works so well with other colors. Um, speaking of, I'm thinking about mixing. I don't think I can do it on this string. I'm thinking about mixing colors, but I think I've got so much Marina Mist um, on the length of this string that I don't know it would work. Um, but I'm going to try that next. So anyway, add in a little more water just to make sure that the um, reinker does come off of the string well enough. And I'm learning here. I don't know. Maybe I put too much on. I am going to, I'm going to try to go for a little bit of a bullseye. So I'm going to put the other glove on and lay this out a little more purposefully. Hopefully I'm not running out of frame because I'm Trying to work fast and maybe getting ahead of myself, but let's see what happens there. And then we'll go do a little back and forth before I lead it off the page. Now I'm afraid to touch too much without getting rid of the glove so I don't end up smearing it where I don't want it. All right, just a little pressure, it doesn't have to be crazy. Pull the string. <laughs> I think I see a version of this for a Father's Day card just so my son and I can play. Oh my goodness, I could do another one. That's got great saturation. And I love the way it has the negative space and you can see the pull through. I gotta go again and, um, and then I won't, you know, make you guys sit all through it, but wow, this is satisfying and really, really fast. So I'm gonna mist it again because that seems to be working for me. Oops. And, um, oh, I need to get out more paper. So I've already done two, four, six. I've got eight card fronts in Marina Mist just that fast. Um, and I need to get a little more card stock out. I didn't think it would make them quite that far. So. Pardon me just a moment. I just think it'd be kind of fun to see what a couple more look like. Um, I did on purpose stay away from the really color saturated um, pigments. Uh, like, I love Blackberry Bliss, but I'm afraid Blackberry Bliss would um, be too dark for this. Now, having said that, of course, you know I'm gonna have to try. And maybe, you know, with the really darker pigments, it might work to um, mix a little water in the um, paper plate or whatever you're using uh, and kind of dilute it before you start. So this one is set number one, two, three. This would be set number five with the same few drops of reinker. <laughs> I'm loving that. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go again, but <laughs> I'm not going to make you sit through all of it, but 
super fun and satisfying and um, I'll finish these off into some cool I mean wow birthday cards would be fun like this oh 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 and I cannot forget to show you the ones I did previously so and they seem to be drying pretty quickly I'm not smearing or anything coming off of that so move my biology textbook aside who would have ever thought it would continue to give me joy um, and here's what the lemon lime looked like that was the first set and even though it's color saturated you can still see the detail I'm hoping this is all showing up and you know they're slightly different one to the other here's the second set this is before I added any water, so it's, you know, a lot of saturation where the um, baker's twine was, and then, um, you know, the pull through. Maybe I went a little faster or slower. I don't know. I'll start to learn. And then I added um, some water here, and I am very confident I went slower. So the water and the pigment started to soak, and it gives it a different look. Um, the still is really pretty and fun. And then here's a little more water, and I made a point to move faster, so it's funny to see this um, is obviously the one I laid it down on, and just in the time it took me to set the string, it uh, got a darker value there. And then this one I was trying to move faster. So it's funny, even, even though they're the set, um, they do look different. This one's still wet, but all really cool really cool and then if you just want a real quick I'll show you the marina mist again whoops make sure I'm showing you that was the first one which I actually really like where the string kind of held the um, the creases I guess you'd say in the baker's twine I tried to line these up so we could see I had not misted it for the second one Here I misted it as uh, I was starting to use up some of the re-inker. So that's set number three. <laughs> set number four. <laughs> They're so cool. Set number five. Really cool, really fun. So uh, yeah, I'll um, finish these up and hopefully show you guys how I finish them up as wicked cool and fun cards. Thanks. Hope you get to play soon.